So new at five here, a Georgia sheriff is accused of sexually assaulting a prominent judge. Now Glenda Hatchett supporters want the governor to step in. Blackley County Sheriff Christopher Cootie is charged with sexual battery in connection with the incident during an event at an Atlanta hotel earlier this year. Fox 5 Deidre Dukes live for us at the state capitol with the night's new developments. Deidre? Yeah, and uh, Judge Hatchet supporters want to know why the sheriff is still on the job at this time, given the allegations against him, when they say the uh, governor has taken action against other sheriffs who face charges have wound up on the wrong side of the law. A woman should not be sexually assaulted under any circumstances, and especially not by law enforcement, by a sheriff who, who we believe is supposed to protect. A coalition of legal, civil rights, and religious organizations are joining Judge Glenda Hatch's lawyers and demanding Governor Kemp suspend Sheriff Christopher Cootie. The group read statements from Reverend Jesse Jackson and Ambassador Andrew Young in support of the former Fulton County Chief Justice. Hootie was charged with sexual battery against Hatchet after he allegedly groped her during an event at the Renaissance Atlanta Waverly Hotel in January. The sheriff is currently going through plea negotiations with the COP DA's office. She was sexually assaulted and harassed, and there's been no justice thus far. Judge Hatchet supporters want him removed from office, as has occurred in other instances where sheriffs have been criminally charged. They insist this is not election year politics and say, Governor Kemp should publicly denounce Sheriff Cootie's actions. Have him come and stand and, and say that what happened was wrong and that what happened should never happen and that her life and that her dignity matters. Governor Kemp's office issued a written statement in response to the group's demand saying, quote, because the current charge is a misdemeanor and the incident happened at an off-duty location, the accusation has not yet risen to the level required by state law to take action. We will, however, most certainly continue to follow this situation closely and review any new information that comes to our attention. Now, the judge's supporters responding to the remarks from the governor today from that written statement saying that they will continue to push to have the sheriff removed from office. In downtown Atlanta, Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News.